Hi, I'm Tim from Fresh Tilled Soil, and today I'm going to take you through a quick screencast on how to take this fixed width website and make it into a flexible responsive design. To do this, we're going to flip over to the CSS file. We're going to be working in this main content area and the sidebar and the navigation primarily. So I've simplified the CSS file for the purposes of this demo, but the first thing we want to do is make these pixel widths percentages. So I'm going to take 640 pixels and make it 66% and make the margin right 1% and also take the sidebar and make the width 33%. One last thing you need to do to make this a flexible layout is change the width to a max width. And if we flip back over to the browser you can see that this is now a flexible layout. The next thing we need to do is insert our media queries. We're going to put in two media query breakpoints. One at 700 pixels hundred pixels and another one at 430 for a smaller screen. and you'll just open those up. The first thing we're going to want to do at 700 pixels is take that main content area and the sidebar and remove the floats so they don't sit next to each other anymore. The second thing we're going to want to do is set the width to 100 percent. This should make sure we get a more linearized layout. And if we flip back over to the browser, you can see at 700 pixels, the main content area becomes 100% and the sidebar also does, and now they sit on top of each other. When we get down to 430 pixels, you'll start to see some of the navigation squishing together. So what we're going to do is take the nav li and the nav anchor and just set them to display block. If we refresh in the browser, once we get down to 430 pixels, you can see that the navigation is now vertical. If we take this over to the phone, you see that it doesn't really do anything. Because we need to set a viewport meta element in the HTML to make sure that the interface zooms. So let's do that now. So zoom this in so you can see it. And then we'll add the meta element name viewport. And set the content of that to width equals device width. And now if we hop back over to the browser nothing has changed but if you see it on the phone nothing has also changed. So let's see why that didn't work. Oh, equals. Now you can see we have a responsive design that works on your phone and in your browser.